Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the big one. We're at Lowell, the Songa Center for the state championship game, St. Mary's. Number two, taking on Rockland, number four. St. Mary's wins the tap, and they'll get a chance to get on the board first. Too far under the basket to get the shot off. Lefty, no good. Abbott, partially blocked. Rockland will get a chance to get on the board. Both teams had to win four games to get here. They go inside. Easy pickings inside. They got a big height advantage inside. There was Julia Ellie getting the bucket. Rockland beat Spellman, Stang, two teams that sit near as you know about. Dover Sherb won. They beat the number one seed, Medway. They held Medway to 22 points. Off the glass and in by Priera. St. Mary's goes to that full court man to man pressure. They lose it on the floor. Shot blocked and knocked out. Six seconds on the shot clock. Off the rim, no good. Bounced around. Quillies comes away with a dribble it away and gets possession. Shot possibly blocked. Priera back again, missed the shot. Left it up short. And it's still two to two. Possibly blocked by Priera. Blocked again by Priera. That's one of her strengths, blocking shots. She does that an awful lot. See, Mary's eked out a win against Bishop Fenwick with Greeley on the bench for the last two minutes. St. Mary's able to hold on. Morgan's two free throws at the end with the difference. Left-handed hook is up and good by Maggie Ellie. St. Mary's gave that one away. They had the ball and lost it. Quillies to the basket, the MVP of the Catholic Central League. Ties it at four. St. Mary's played Fenwick to win nine ties in the St. Mary's game. Before they finally won it by a point. Three point shot from the corner, too strong. Abbott tipped it away. It winds up with Queeley's bringing it up. Awumi to the basket. The seventh grader takes it in. So Rockland defeated the number one seed Medway, held him at 22 points, but Rockland only got 46. They didn't go on a scoring binge. A nice little pick and roll for Julia Ellie. She can hit, she'll get two at the line. Everybody's walking around like they thought there was time out, but there wasn't. St. Mary's were co-champs two years ago. They got they won the game to get them to the championship game. They were going to play a team that they had already beaten. But COVID struck and he decided to have co-champs. They didn't play the game. 
And then last year, there was no state championship because of COVID. St. Mary's won. That's when the cup tournament, Catholic Central League Cup tournament was invented. And St. Mary's won that. So they're de actually defending their state championship. Julia Ellie gets her third point. And she can tie it up at six. And she does. Third tie in, in this first period. Release walks it up. Fakes the pass and lays it in. She faked like she was going to go underneath. Defense bit. And she had a clear lane to the basket for two. They got that advantage inside with Maggie Ellie. The takeaway. Second turnover by the Spartans. Just past the halfway mark, eight to eight. Tough shot, block. Piera got another block, but she saved it, but she stepped out of bounds doing it. Another big defensive play by Priera. Missed the layup, missed it again, and got knocked out by Rockland. They got that advantage inside, but Maggie, a lie, or Ellie, Eight to eight, division three championship final. Awumi to the basket, lays it in. The seventh graders got four points already. Back and forth we go, ebb and flow. She lost it, a little too much dribbling. Turned the ball over, stepped out of bounds. St. Mary's gets it back. St. Mary's beat Stoneham, North Reading, Watertown, and then their second meeting in tournament action in, in the semifinals against. Three point basket by Queeley. And St. Mary's has the biggest lead of the game, five. A wild shot. It went over the backboard, out of play. They were gonna play it, the official blew the whistle. Shit, Mary's gets the basketball. Coach Nukem is saying she thought the ball was tipped. Man to man. They go way across to Queeley's for three. Off the rim, no good. Priera gets the rebound. Blocked and knocked away nicely. Big time play by Ellie. Off the rim, no good. Rockland winds up at the free throw line. Sydney Blaney gets the first. Missed that one. Awumi gives it. Taken away again, another turnover. In for the layup, Blaney. Cuts the lead to two. It was five, and St. Mary's had the basketball. Awumi gets hit going to the basket. She'll get two at the line. They're leaving her open at the foul line.
Makes them both. She's got six, and it's 15 to 11, St. Mary's. Off the rim, no good. Wheelies comes away with it. Priera goes to the basket, missed the shot. Final minute of the play here at Songus here in Lowell. Big double head of the boys after this St. Mary's. They try to go over the top. They saved it. Right. Right into the hands of Ellie. They threw it away. After him, no good. 10 seconds and counting. St. Mary's by two. Block, they won't get the shot off. So St. Mary's led 15 to 11. Rockland gets a basket, cuts it to two. And at the end of the first period, St. Mary's 15, Rockland 13. Rockland will have the basketball, St. Mary's will have a two point lead as we start the second period in this Division Three state championship final. So St. Mary's 25 and three, they play 28 games. This is their 29th game. None more important than this one. Inside, blocked again by Priera, but they get the layup. Bounce right back to Ellie. And she lays it in. Priera from dead in the corner, no good. Awumi comes away with the rebound. She gets tied up, it'll be St. Mary's basketball. AJ Hyacinthi, who's played well in the last part of the season, she's been the first one off the bench, and she's played extremely well. They haven't got Morgan going yet. Morgan was the catalyst in the Bishop Fenwick game. Hyacinthi from the corner, throws in a three. This is a very young team. They only have two seniors, St. Mary's. Almost stolen away. We're going to tie up. It'll be Rockland's basketball with three seconds on the shot clock. Stolen away. Morgan will bring it up. The kick out to Hyacinthi, off the rim, no good. Didn't miss by much. But inside the rim, it popped out. And we got a blocking foul against, I think, Hyacinthi. Nobody really in foul trouble, only the third team foul. 
Rockland's only committed one. St. Mary's by three. Short. Picked off by Awumi. Morgan can't get loose. Back out to Queeley's. They were lucky to complete that pass. Packing up, shot clock winding down. They gotta get it up. Wheelies takes the shot and it goes out of bounds. They had to rush it, shot clock winding down. St. Mary's by three. Emma Cameron, the first sub for Rockland. Three-point basket. Charlie Kelleher. And we're tied again. See, Mary's running the clock down. Wheelie's high off the glass. You're not going to make a living taking those shots. But see, Mary's got a two point lead. Blocked by Awumi, but the foul will be on Awumi. <laughs> Off the rim, no good. I thought we were going to have our seventh Hi. She can get Rockland back within a point. <laughs> Offensive foul. See, Mary's only has one foul to waste, and we've reached the halfway mark of this third period. Rockland has still only committed one foul. A tough shot. And we got a foul against Rockland as Morgan went down. That's a tough left handed hook. Going through the lane. Just past the halfway mark of this first half. St. Mary's by one. Again, Rockland's letting them stay out there. They're shagging in, saying, "We're gonna, you're gonna have to beat us from outside. Up and good by Priera. Twenty-two nineteen the Spartans. Stolen away by Priera. Missed the shot. Gets the rebound and lays it in over her head. She made the steal, she missed the layup, but got the rebound, threw it over her head. St. Mary's has matched their biggest lead of five. Off the rim, no good. Oh, 
Tipped away. Morgan steps inside and lays it in. She's got that down to a science. Six in a row by St. Mary's. And now that's the limit for St. Mary's with 224 left. Rockland will shooting will shoot three throws the rest of the way. Eleven to six. Yeah, the run. Pushes that two point first period lead to seven with 224 left in the half. Morgan with that little side step. She's got that down to a science. Just like Hodden, who is now with the 76ers, they always say he, he traveled, he traveled. I don't think so. Amazing 28 games played by St. Mary's, none bigger than the one today. They put a few notches in their belt. They were undefeated in the Catholic Central League. They came up short in a cup tournament, losing in the final, but then they won their classic. So they got two out of three of their aims, as they call them, starting the season out. And this is the next step they're looking for. Jeff Newhall, coach, also, the athletic director does a great job. And he's got them playing extremely well. The defense has been spectacular. They've got those big people where they want them, out the top of the circle. They try to go inside. Priera knocks it away. Blocked by Priera again. Boy, what a job she does. She scores, but people don't realize what a job she does on defense blocking shots. Wheelie's in the lane, can't hit it. Pereira forced her to take a tough shot. Knocked it loose, Wheelie's comes up with it. Here's that defense again. Morgan off the rim, no good. They had a hurry to get it over half court. They almost lost it with 10 seconds. A tough left-handed hook. She lost it out of bounds. They had the mismatch. They had Maggie Ellie with wheelies covering her and didn't go inside. Under a minute and counting left in this first half. Greeley's a little too strong. She wasn't as open as she thought she was. Threw that way off the top of the backboard. Blocked, but the foul will be against St. Mary's. Maggie, Maggie Ellie, who was, had six in the first period, got none here in the second, but now she can get two from the line and cut into that seven point lead. Missed the first. 
St. Mary's can almost run the clock out. 33 seconds left in this first half. They've held Rockland to seven points. They missed them both. St. Mary's with a chance to walk out with a seven point lead. They can run it down virtually to the end, take a shot and run the clock out. And that's exactly what they're doing. Queeley's with the basketball. Shot clock down. Morgan lets it fly off the rim, no good. Pereira blocked. It goes out of bounds. Well, St. Mary's almost, they got one shot. Newcomb, Coach Newcomb is out on the floor screaming at the official, wanting a foul at the end, and it would have been free throws. She doesn't win her case. So St. Mary's holds Rockland to seven points in the second period. They have the biggest lead of the game, but a long way to go. It's St. Mary's 26, Rockland 19 at halftime. Welcome back to the Sangha Serena as we set to start the second half. St. Mary's on a little bit of a run. They only got 11 points in the second period, but they held Rockland to six and lengthened that two point lead at the end of one to a seven point lead. They'll have the basketball to start the second half. It'll be Queeley's, Morgan, Priera, Awumi, and Abbott out there for St. Mary's. Queeley's had nine, Awumi and Priera had six apiece. Queeley's in the lane, and they're gonna get an offensive foul against St. Mary's setting the pick. They kick it back outside. Left hand hook possibly blocked again by who else? Priera. To the basket, Priera missed the shot. She made a great move to the basket and couldn't get it. Wheelies did a great job. She deflected it and went off. Blaney, out of bounds, St. Mary's gets it back. So we're still looking for our first points here in this third period. And we played just about a minute. Morgan looking for a pick. Abbott way outside. They go inside to Priera, missed another layup. Great. Pass by Queeley's and he missed the layup. Can't afford to miss those. That's two in a row. A wild lefty hook. Follow no good. They save it outside, around the rim, no good. Abbott with the rebound. Morgan pushes it up. Morgan hasn't got started at all. She got one layup, and that was it. Off the back of the rim, no good. The layup by Ellie. She got six in the first period. That's her first basket since. Inside to Abbott. Another layup missed. Quillies with a great pass again. St. Mary's could have put this game away with layups. Pass picked off. They had the ball, they turned it over. Julia Ellie. Around the rim and out. 
St. Mary's hasn't scored yet. Off the rim, no good. Tipped up all the way to midcourt. Mid Rockland gets it back. Tipped away. Wheelies gets hit going to the basket. Abbott made the play. Wheelies takes it to like the floor, looking to get St. Mary's on the board. And a little bit of a drought. Takes them both. So St. Mary's finally gets on the board. Took them almost half the period. They lead by five. Inside. We got a foul. It was Queeley's covering Maggie Ellie originally, and now it's Morgan, and they're giving up a whole lot. She makes them both, and the lead is back to three. Here, off the rim, no good. St. Mary's can't buy a bucket. They're getting enough shots, they just can't knock them down. A three-point basket for Rockland would tie the game. A three-point play will do the same thing. Maddie Hermano, Hermano. We're looking for our seventh tie. Just past the half mark. She gets the three-point play. A seventh tie. They almost picked the pass off. Wheelie saved it. Excuse me. Morgan saved it. We got a jump ball. It'll be Rockland's basketball, and they have a chance to take the lead. And the Rockland fans come alive. They were down at halftime. We're Rockland down seven, but we played four and a half minutes. St. Mary's doesn't have a basket. They got two free throws. They're going to get. Hyacinthi for a foul reaching in. She thought she had a breakaway with a steal. I, I thought they called a foul on Hyacinthi. They didn't. St. Mary's has the basketball. They called it on Rockland. Piera around the rim and out. They can't hit the shot. I think they tied it up. It'll be St. Mary's basketball. Piera can't hit a shot. She's open. Wide open. She finally got that one. That, she looked like she let, let that up short. It got the right bounce. 
It took them five minutes to get their first basket. That one goes right through the wickets, but they call it off St. Mary's. I thought it went right through the fingertips of Ellie. Tough shot with the lefty. Hyacinth, he takes the three, no good. It went out of Julia Ellie. One's a sophomore, one's a senior. We got a foul on the drive. Pierre is getting left wide open, but she's having trouble putting the ball in the basket. She makes the free throw. Missed that one. Tipped up. Wheely tips it to herself. Foggin for three. They'd love to get her going. And the lead balloons to six. Six in a row by St. Mary's. And Rockland wants a timeout. So it took St. Mary's almost five minutes to get their first basket. They had two free throws by Queeley's. Then they got a three points by Priera, then a three point basket by Morgan. And that 28-28 tie is now a six point lead for St. Mary's, 34 to 28. Rockland just tries to shut you down. They they lay off you a little bit. Don't let you go to the basket. Take the shot from outside. If you're going to beat us, you're going to beat us from there. We mentioned they only got 46 points against Medway, the number one seed. But they held Medway to 22 and won the game easily. Hyacinthi, Priera, Morgan, Quillies, and Awumi, the five out there. So back and forth we go. St. Mary's gets out to a lead. Rockland says, I don't think so. They come back and catch him. They haven't had a lead yet, Rockland. They go over the top. We got a foul before the shot. Again, they got that huge advantage with Maggie Eli. Maggie Eli is only a sophomore. From dead in the corner with three. Cuts the lead in half. Awumi with a tough shot. They were St. Mary's was lucky there. Awumi was not going to come anywhere near making that shot. A, a, a fall away left handed hook. Can't hit the shot. Rockland again can tie with a three. A wild left-handed hook, it goes. Hermano, coach, will say, no, don't take that shot. Then it goes, nice shot, Maddie. 
final minute. Blocked inside. Rockland can take the lead. Another wild shot, Morgan with the rebound. Wheelies gets fouled in the backcourt. Thirty-three ticks left in the period. St. Mary's leads by one. They just were up six. Rockland scores five in a row. So ebb and flow, back and forth we go. They can almost run the clock out. They can virtually run the clock out, taking the last shot. Wheelies will hold on and run the clock down. They gotta get it up. Off the rim, no good. That'll do it. So they hold St. Mary's to eight points in the period. They outscore St. Mary's 14 to eight. And St. Mary's will carry a one-point lead into the fourth period. St. Mary's 34, Rockland 33. Rockland has a chance to get their lead. 34-33, St. Mary's eight minutes left in regulation. And St. Mary's having all kinds of trouble offensively. We're going to foul on the drive at the line. Rockland can get the lead. Manny Hermano came in and got five big points in that third period and helped them get back within a point. She misses the first. So the best she can do is give us our eighth tie. Missed them both. Rockland comes away with the rebound. St. Mary's had the opportunity. They missed two free throws. They got in trouble out near the top of the circle. And Coach Newcomb saw they were in trouble, called the timeout. Seven thirty-two left in regulation in this state division three championship final. I say left in regulation because we've had seven ties. Tied at two, four, six, eight, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-eight. And the offense has been as cold as some of the wintry nights we've had here in Massachusetts. Nobody can get into any kind of rhythm. Wheelies had 11. Friera had nine through three. Maggie Eli had 10. And Julie Eli had eight. And again, Rockland, with any kind of score, can't take the lead. Find a work her way in, a horrible hook. They take the ball away. St. Mary's had it, Rockland took it away. Eli took a terrible shot running, left-handed hook. She missed it, 
St. Mary's has the ball. Eli took it away. And now she can give Rockland the lead. She missed the first. They've missed a few from the free throw line. She makes one. We have our eighth tie. You almost lost it. Priera goes to the basket, can't hit it. Tough shot by Priera. And again, Rockland can take the lead. Knocked away, Priera saved it, great play. Wheelies all the way in, missed it. Abbott and Morgan take, keep it alive. Priera shot, blocked. Another big play by Julia Ellie. Nobody wants to win this game, nobody wants to score. Off the rim, no good. Another wild lefty hook blocked inside, but fouled. Another wild shot by Rockland, but they get their own rebound again, and they're at the line, the foul on Hyacinthi. And that's six fouls, so with 546 left, Rockland will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. She gets two at the line, and he missed another free throw. They've missed a bundle. She can give Rockland the lead. And she does. So the Eli's are leading Rockland in the game. They get more than half the points. Wheelies! I don't know how that went in. Wheelies was falling down. Somehow got the ball high off the glass and got it to go. And, she, and she's looking for a three-point play. The Catholic Central League MVP coming up big. She missed the free throw. St. Mary's by one. Shot clock winding down, they go inside. Half shot, blocked by Queeley's. Four seconds on the shot clock. Off the rim, it fell out. He had a great out of bounds play and it fell off the rim. St. Mary's by one. Stolen away, they telegraphed that pass. Too strong, but they follow and lay it in. The seal in the bucket put Rockland up a point. Briera for three. She's missed a ton of layups. Now she steps back and throws in a three with nobody underneath. And St. Mary's is back up on top by two. I think if you took told both coaches with just about the halfway mark of the fourth period, 
you're not going to have 40 points, they would have said, second place is not bad. St. Mary's scoring 60, 80 points not in a normal game. Can't throw the ball in the ocean here. Especially on, the shooting percentage has been terrible, especially on layups. They've missed a ton of layups. But Queeley's came through with a big bucket. Freeman's got the biggest bucket of the game for St. Mary's a three. They put the camera on the different rooting sections. Rockland has a large student body. St. Mary's does also. So St. Mary's by two. Rockland has the ball. This is what they were hoping for when they changed the format to an entire state championship. St. Mary's at a disadvantage height-wise with the Ellies. Easy pickings inside, they missed it. It'll be a jump ball. I think, I think Ellie got away with a, a reach-in foul. St. Mary's will have the basketball. We're halfway through and counting. This fourth and final period in regulation. Tough shot by Queelys. Priero with the follow, gets it to go. It hung on the rim and fell in. And yeah, we got a foul against Queelys. And that's going to put Rockland at the free throw line so they can eat into the lead at the foul line with the, with the clock stop. Back and forth we go. She needs the first to get the second. She's played well and she's got eight points. She can get them back within two. Perfect. Rockland's saying the game at the free throw line. They've outshot St. Mary's 10 to 5, and they missed a bundle. They got to get it up. Morgan hits it off the rim. Abbott saves it. Great play by Olivia Abbott with a great rebound. Three minutes and counting left. Wheelie off the rim doesn't go. Another three by Kelleher. Rockland by one. Priera knocks it down. She's got seven in the period. We got a timeout. 2.15 left. Ebb and flow back and forth. <laughs> Rockland staying in the game from the foul line. They've outscored St. Mary's 10 to 5 from the free throw line, and they've missed a bundle. Rockland has a foul to waste. St. Mary's doesn't as we see the St. Mary's fans. 2.15 left in regulation. 
We've had eight different ties in the ball game. This is very similar to the game St. Mary just played against Bishop Fenwick, winning the game by a point when Fenwick missed a three-point shot that went halfway down and popped back out it would have tied it. So 2.15 left, 43-42. Every time you want to scream at Piera for missing a layup, she throws in a three or gets a rebound and scores. She's got 16 points. They've done a job on Morgan. Morgan's only got five points. She's usually well up in the double digits. St. Mary's picking up the pressure a little more now at full court. Morgan is trying to front Ellie with that height advantage. It goes off the rim. Hamano, she's got seven all in the second half. And Rockland's back up by one. Go into the basket, will they give her two? One twenty-eight left in the game. Wheelie's humongous free throws for St. Mary's. Missed the first. The best she can do is tie it. Awumi is back in. Our ninth tie of the ball game. Every possession now important. Steps called. Every trip up court for both teams important. Virtually a must scoring time. A minute and counting left in regulation with dead even. They take it away. She lost it out of bounds. St. Mary's got a huge break. They had two on one. And she just lost the ball and controlled it, went out of bounds. St. Mary's has to score here or Rockland will get the last shot of the game. Timeout, 24 seconds left, St. Mary's by two. Queeley's the MVP. That was similar to the shot she made at St. Mary's, or at Lynn English, I should say, where they played the game, for her 1,000th point. A huge basket by the MVP. And now Rockland in a must situation. Everybody's getting their money's worth here for this one. You couldn't ask for a better state final. 46, 44. Queelies with a huge basket.
St. Mary's needs a stop. If Rockland doesn't score, they have to foul. They'll put St. Mary's at the free throw line. Both teams shooting free throws. Both teams have two timeouts left. St. Mary's just doesn't want to give up a three right here. St. Mary's. They call the timeout. Morgan caught the air ball and called timeout. St. Mary's is in the driver's seat. They lead by two with 10 seconds left. Actually 11, 10.9. They gotta get the ball in bounds. Rockland will have to foul. And then they would have to rush to get a shot off. So the last game St. Mary's played, they won by a point over Bishop Fenwick. Now they lead by two and they have the basketball. Morgan heads up, caught the ball, called the timeout. So 10.9 seconds left in the basketball game. We've had nine different ties. St. Mary's, this is probably on the winning side, if they do win, this smallest offensive output, they only got a, in the 40s against Bishop Fian in the Catholic Central League Cup Championship final and lost that one. St. Mary's, they have to get the ball inbounds. They'd like to get it to Queeley's. Don't set any illegal screens. They get it to Queeley's. They grab her with nine seconds left. She'll get one on one at the line. She needs the first to get the second. If she makes it, if she makes both, the game is over. If she makes one, Rockland's gonna. They have a pulse. It'll be a small pulse, but they'll have a chance with a three-point shot. Very, the biggest free throws of her career. In and out. Rockland calls a timeout with seven seconds left. So they have to go the length of the court in seven seconds to get a shot off. Huge miss at the free throw line, and she is usually very good. So St. Mary's by two. Rockland might have just enough time to get the ball over half court and throw one up. And what St. Mary doesn't want to do is foul. It'll be the St. Mary's boys coming up right after this. So here we go. 7.9 seconds left. St. Mary's a little full court pressure. Tipped away, out of bounds. Wow. Rockland wants another timeout, that's their last. St. Mary's almost stole it. It looked like Rockland knocked it out. 2.2 seconds left. St. Mary's want, wants to get their hands up on the ball. They don't want to throw it 
let him lob it underneath the basket to either one of the Eli's. Tim Irish had the largest scoring period, 15 in the first period. Other than that, it's been a, hasn't been a, an offensive explosion here at the Songus Arena. 2.2 seconds left, St. Mary's by two. The St. Mary's fans, like they did last week, last game with Fenwick holding their breath. Rockland fans standing, everybody up in their feet. Block! Priera with the block! They got what they wanted. They ran a great play. <laughs> they lobbed it up to Maggie Eli. She was underneath for a layup. Priera does her thing and blocks the shot. And St. Mary's is the Division Three state champions, 46 to 44. A tremendous win for the Spartans. A devastating loss for Rockland. St. Mary's picks up their 26th win of the season and their most important win at that. For Rockland, Kelleher had, had eight. Blaney had nine. Maggie Eli had 11. Julia Eli had nine. For St. Mary's, Hyacinthi had a three-point basket. Awumi had six. Morgan had five. Priera had 16. And Queelys had 16 to lead St. Mary's. And back and forth we went. Queelys' basket made it 46-44. Morgan fielded the air ball. Missed call timeout with 10 seconds left. Rockling got the ball back. They ran a perfect out-of-bounds pass play for Ely. She had it for an easy layup. And Priera, she missed a lot of layups, but she blocked that layup and saved the game for St. Mary's from going into overtime. Rockland fans got excited. They thought they had the layup they wanted to tie the game. And Priera was there to whack it away at St. Mary's. defends their championship from two years ago. It was a co-championship, but they defend their championship. And they'll take the banner and the trophy back home to St. Mary's on the Common as they win it 46 to 44 for their 26th win of the season. They'll make presentations to both teams. Rockland can hold their head up high. There's an awful lot of teams who would have liked to have been here and lost this game that didn't make it. Rockland gave St. Mary's everything they could handle and they just come up short. It took an ESPN highlight block of a layup by Priera to save the game for St. Mary's after Queeley's got the big bucket to give them the lead. And St. Mary's wins it 46 to 44 on their way to the state championship. Their last two games they played, they go two and zero, oh, and they won the two games by a total of three points. One point over Fenwick, two points over Rockland in a very low scoring game, but St. Mary's will take it. Jeff Newhall with his kids on the floor, giving them a big hug. St. Mary's got their medals, Rockland got their medals. St. Mary's fans going wild over there, and they hope they go wild again as the boys will play next. Hopefully you make it two for two. St. Mary's, the Division Three state champions. Sounds awful good, especially for me, a St. Mary's grad. Jeff Newell did a fantastic job. The captains, Constein and Abbott, will take the plaque and the scroll. 
they're the only two seniors. This whole team will be back next year. Pictures being taken with the captains and the coach. Everybody, all the St. Mary's fans, it's gonna be a very happy bus ride back to Lynn, Massachusetts. As they're cheering now, they were holding their breath with a minute left. Wheelies hit that big shot. They came back, they forced an air ball to, for a three to try and get the lead. And St. Mary's held on the last 20 seconds. And the last play of the game, Piero with the humongous block. As we get a picture up on the screen of the whole team, holding up the championship banner, wearing their, rip, their medals. Everybody there, the coaches, players, everybody did a great job this year. They only lost three games. One was to an outstanding team in Florida. Two were to a Division II team, Bridgewater Raynham. The other one was, I think, Bishop Fien, I think, is a, a Division I or II team as well. They were undefeated, I believe, in Division Three. 26 wins, only three losses, and they're Division Three champions by the hair of your chinny chin chin. 46 to 44, St. Mary's over Rockland. Wheelies with the basket, Riero with the big defensive play, and they'll take the trophy and the medals home and celebrate a great year, a great season, and a great finale for St. Mary's Spartans. 46-44, St. Mary's over Rockland. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Don Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.